In this video I'm going to talk about more concepts to do with vectors. So I'm going to talk about vector notation, multiplying a vector by a scalar, adding and subtracting vectors, and I'll finish off with an example question. So in terms of vector notation, here is an arrow representing our vector from point A to point B. Now point A is where the vector starts and that's referred to as the tail. Point B is referred to as the head of the vector. And if we were to write this down, you may see this vector written down as AB with an arrow across the top, or it might just be written as A that's italic and underlined, or you might just see it written as A in boldface. In terms of multiplying vectors by a scalar then, if we take the example of A being this vector here, if we multiply by 3, we get the same direction, but 3 times the magnitude. If we multiply by a half, again it's the same direction, but only half the magnitude, and that's represented by the fact that this line is half the length of this line. Okay, if we're to multiply by negative numbers, if we multiply by minus 1, we have the same magnitude, but the opposite direction. If we multiply by minus 3, we have 3 times the magnitude, but the opposite direction. So multiplying by a negative number changes the direction of the vector. If we want to add vectors, then we have to move the tail of one of the vectors to meet the head of the other vector. So in this case, we're going to add A and B together, and we've moved the tail of B to meet the head of A, and the new vector A plus B goes from the tail of A to the head of B and we can do this for multiple vectors. So for example, a plus b plus c, we've made the head of a join the tail of b, head of b join the tail of c. Our new vector, a plus b plus c, goes from the tail of a to the head of c. To subtract vectors, uh, we need to multiply one of the vectors by minus one. So in this case, for a minus b, we're going to multiply b by minus one to make it minus b and then we're going to add them together. And we move the tail of B to meet the head of A, and A minus B is simply going from the tail of A to the head of B. Now for an example question, we've got an aeroplane travelling north at 118 metres per second. The aeroplane then starts to experience a crosswind of 50 metres per second at 53.13 degrees from north. What's the new velocity of the plane? First of all, let's draw a diagram. So we've got the two vectors. We've got the velocity north and the crosswind, 50 meters per second. And to add them together, we need to move the tail of one to the head of the other. And now the new vector is simply going from the tail of the first one to the head of the second one. Now, in order to work out that new vector, we're going to have to work out this triangle here first. So we can work out using trigonometry A and O, the adjacent and the opposite. These work out to be 30 meters per second and 40 meters per second. If we put all of this together into a new triangle, the total velocity going north is 148 meters per second, so that's the 118 plus the 30, and the total east is 40 meters per second. So then using Pythagoras we can work out H, and using trigonometry we can work out the angle and in this case they work out to be 15.1 degrees and 153 meters per second. So that's been a brief video to introduce some further concepts in vectors.